Hi, I'm Jamie Sloan with Aya Food School and thank you for joining me again today for another edition of Garden Talk. And today we're gonna talk about onions and in particular planting onions in the fall for a late spring harvest. And please keep in mind the first and foremost thing you need to know about getting in your garden is what zone you live in. And that's gonna let you know what varieties of onions and also other varieties of different types of plants that you can get in the ground for a late spring or even spring, sometimes summer harvest. And in this case, I have some storage onions and I think that's just a generic term that the local nursery tag these with. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to guess that these are indeed a fall planting onion bulb that uh, is for late spring harvest otherwise they wouldn't have them and so anyway this zone is 8b and i'm in the willamette valley here in oregon which is a really good place to grow things so there is that advantage of of living here um but these particular onions this set there's probably about there's about eight to 10 onions per set here. And I'm gonna prep my tomato bed for these onions. And first off, there's things you need to do in order to get it all ready to go. And let's do that. Okay, so now we're ready to plant our bulbs, our onion bulbs. And right here, I pulled out a cell and each cell has about, as mentioned, probably anywhere from six to 10 uh, bulbs in there. So you don't want to just rip these apart. You want to be very careful with these bulbs because they're food and you don't want to destroy your food before you even get it in your mouth, <laughs> much less the ground. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'll show you. I'm gonna put it in a bowl of water and I'm just gonna fish these apart very gently and separate them. You see that all right. And it's okay that the soil falls off that root system there. That's, that's quite all right because it's gonna go into a big bed of soil. So no need to save that. Be very careful. Now this is just kind of a mass tangled mess. Okay. So there we go with our first cell. So in that first cell, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to try with this little guy too. So that's about nine hopefully 10 onions. And I'm gonna show you the best and easiest way to get these in the ground in a space that even if it's confined space, you can do it and I'll show you how. So I'm gonna separate all these and get ready to prep the bed. And this bed behind me, this tomato bed is where they're all going. I'm gonna keep my tomatoes but the marigolds have got to go. It's time. Okay, so I'm back and I did quite a bit of work, but it only took about 20 minutes to clear the bed. I did a number of things, actually, I'll show you. And let's see, I cleared the bed and then I trimmed up these tomato plants to get some air going through there and some sunlight as well for these future onions. And I only did three of the cells as far as separating them in water because I think I want to put the rest up in the front yard. So also some things I've noticed was throughout gardening, you know, you always are adding to your soil for amendment. And it got to the point where it was just too much soil and water was just running off the top here. So I basically just created this divot so that I can actually retain some of this water drainage and which will be better. And there's enough 
uh, vermiculite in here as well. That's these, which helps for aeration and that will help with drainage and keep the water, you know, draining well throughout the bedding area and not just, you know, waterlogging everything. So this is my debris pile after removing the marigolds and lifting up these tomato plants. It's the last of the season, so we'll see if we get much more going on with these guys, but I did fertilize. And what I used was some tomato and vegetable food fertilizer, organic, of course. I also added some coffee grounds from the coffee shop nearby that just gave them to me for free. And I also added some lime, which I don't know where that bag is, somewhere around here, but so yeah, I added some lime, some fertilizer, and some coffee grounds. And now I'm gonna plant these sets. Now what you need to know about the spacing of planting these sets is for every one inch, which is probably about that much of your hand, and every three inches, so every one inch deep and three inches wide. So one inch deep, three inches wide. So I'm gonna do that all the way around this bed and get as many of these guys in here that I can. And therefore, you know, I have a nice companion plant, which the onions with the tomatoes, and it'll be a nice happy bed. So I'm gonna set up for that and I'll show you what happens. All right, so here I go, I have this cute little nifty tool that I got from like a Dollar Tree or something is just came with a garden package of seeds or something but it's perfect for planting these bulbs and basically I'm just gonna go about that one inch and then a fist wide and again one inch a fist wide and I'm gonna do this throughout the bed. And then I'm gonna get my bulb and put that guy in there, or gal, doesn't matter. I could cut some of these roots, but I'm not gonna do that. You can also cut some of these tips as well, but I'm not gonna do that. These roots are pretty long, so I'm just gonna help it along. Hope you like the music selection, little, little Olivia joining us today. It's always good to have music playing when you're gardening anytime really that's my other passion okay so helping these holes out a little bit and so you get the gist so I'm gonna do this all the way around this bedding area and see how much more space I have because I have a whole nother three cells which is probably about another 30 onions and um, We'll see how we do. Okay, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so I finished planting what turned out to be four cells of onion bulbs and went all the way around this tomato bed. And that's what we got. All right, so that is that. Okay, so the last thing I have to do with this tomato and onion bed is put some straw down so that it protects the growth of the bulbs and the, the bulbs as they grow because they're going to start exposing themselves to the surface of, of the soil. And so I'm going to put down some straw. Make sure you get straw and not hay because hay will actually leave seeds and then you'll have weeds in your bedding areas and you don't want that. So, yes, so I'm gonna look around. I think I might have some old straw, but it might be too decomposed. I'm not sure yet. Otherwise, I'll probably um, 
get some straw somewhere. And that will be the last steps of this. And there's rain in the forecast, as always, in Oregon. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to water these in because there was a big rain last night. And there's rain coming soon. So I'm not going to water these in. And But if you're in a dry climate, you definitely want to. And that's the big thing about gardening. Know what zone you're in and what you're able to grow. And only grow what you're going to eat or share. That's the best part. Okay, so thank you for joining in this, this series of uh, As You Are Food School. And uh, it's fall, so getting ready for these fall crops. There's always something to do in the garden. And enjoy it. And I hope you have an abundant day and enjoy your garden as you are. Much love.